network, computer, components, and in our lessons we are going to narrow ourselves to the symbols. So uh, the components that are usually found in computer or the analog computer is the summer, the integrators, uh, multiplier, multipliers, and even the potential meters. So in these lessons we shall look at the, the symbols. We are going to look at the symbols. We are going to look at the, the symbols. So the symbol for this one is it is drawn this way. And, uh, and this one it can have the summer can have more than one input. It can have a V1. V two, V three, and uh, and it can also ha be having the gain. So we can have we can see this one have a gain, gain, this one gain two, gain three, and of course it has to have uh, the output. And uh, with this one, the the output will be always be inverted. The output voltage is inverted. So this one, we say the output voltage is inverted. Uh, inverted. So this means V, that is the output voltage, is going to be equal to um, a negative into a K. 1 V1 plus K2 multiplied by V2 plus K3 V3. So what it need to be noted is that uh, on the side of summers, uh, the output voltage is inverted. So the V out will be equal to negative uh, K, K1, K2 those are the gains. Those are the gains. That is all about the the summers. It has got more than one input. The output voltage is usually inverted. Now the second one is the integrator. The second one is the integrator. The second one is the integrator. The simple, the simple is drawn this way. Uh, it is drawn this way. This could be V1, and uh, this one is the V out. What is the V out? So again, this one, the input voltage, the input voltage is inverted. The input voltage is inverted as it is in that road. So uh, uh, it is an integral of the output voltage. Of the output voltage. So this when we have this one, then it means the gain is one part. Let's add half to be have to have a general gate and the general one we can call it uh, K V1 that is the gate then the second one so that is the symbol of uh, the integrator the third one is the multiply the potential potential meter potential meter and this one is a, a variable a variable resistor uh, usually used uh, which usually used in measurement it is usually used in uh, measurement the symbol is this
So the value of A is solely less than one. The value of K is always less than one. The value of K is less than one. Then the, the last one is the multiplier. The last one is multiplier. Last one is multiplier, and it has this symbol. There is also there is a sign change. There is a sign change of the voltage. Voltage to the output. So V of is going to be equal to minus K V1. So there is a gain, there is a there is a sign change of the voltage uh, to the output voltage. So always so this one we, we say it in part. Uh, we say it is in part. It is a can call it in butter. You say if the multiplier gain is less than one uh, or k is unity, the in butter is then greater than one, and that is why you are calling it multiplier. Then you are calling it multiplier. It is this so v o equals to negative k v. It is in butter. Then we are saying. If that value, if the gain k is is unity, uh, the gain is unity, then the the that you the inverter is greater than one, then and this is used, it, then it is going to be called the multiplier. So multiplier has got a sign change of the output voltage. Then the why are calling it multiply because of this. So there is that. If k is equals to unity, then uh, then uh, if it is equal, if k is equals to or is near to unity, then the factor is greater than one. And that is the reason why you are calling it the multiplier. So the second thing that you need to look at is the solving differential equations. So look at the the second thing is the solving differential equations and uh, you can be given something like this uh, d dq dt is equals to q int a minus b a that so this is a uh, these are first order differential equations. These are first order differential equations, and then we want to see how we are going to apply the analog computer uh, components symbols. So we are going to see how we can do that. So we need to draw an analog computer.
components, symbols. So what you're going to do, you're going to start with the, the summer, then you input the, the potentiometer, and this is 1 over A, you input this. Then what we know about this one, there is a sign change, there is a sign change, so the D, D, uh, O, all over, the T, and then to get this, then you put integrator, you put integrator, you put integrator, the integrator, so here there will be negative. So again, this is also it also act as an inverter, it's also in the so it will be positive. And we shall have integrating this one, we shall have pi of love the pi of. So there will be pi of. So there is this, and this is positive. So this one will come this way. We shall have this. So remember there is this. Then there we shall put the potential meter of uh, B A and then it goes back. So that is an example of an analog. So this is an, an example of an analog computer. Uh, computer. Components. Symbols. Let's see another one. So let's confine it also. When we are told there is a limited supply of voltage, supply of voltage, supply of voltage, and then in most cases we can be limited to limited to plus or minus ten volts. So, like for example, so example can be given series dy dt minus 2y equals to 10. So you need to make the subject of this. So you say dy dt 6. You take that one to the other side minus 2y. You get rate of 6. You need that you're going to divide both sides by 6. By 6 and you're going to get dy dt going to be equals to uh, 10 into 1 over 6 minus 2 minus 1 over 3 y minus that. So that is what you are going to uh, to develop or to decide that circuit uh, minus 1 over 3 y. So throw the analog computer, then the, what you're going to start with, you're going to start with this, then you're going to start with this, this is going to be 6, 1 over 6, we will then our 10 volts, because we are told it is limited, to make sure that what you are inputting is 10, and then from there, because there is a sign change, and here we shall have minus the dy dt. Here we put the integrator, integrator, and the sign will change. After integrating that, we shall have y. But our y is this one, and it is negative. So that means we are going to introduce that. We put the 
the multiplier and that one will change that one so this is negative positive it will change to negative and then you put your potentiometer one over three and then you fade back sorry about the gain would be one so here will be positive and be double to be positive so that is also another one example let me say another one example this is a one example and then the, we want to see how we can solve simultaneous equations so after that then the, we see how we can solve simultaneous equations and our limited voltage limited voltage is this so we are given can be given uh, can be given to to the dt minus five x equals to two. If that one is called equation one. Equation two is dx dt plus four y equals to 10, that one gives equation 2. Runs a simultaneous equation. That's what we are doing. We take this to the other side. So you start with equation 1. We say d dt2 um, equals to 2 plus 5x. So you divide both sides by 2, this by 2, this by 2. And then uh, you're going to get something like uh, d dy dt equals to 1 plus 5 over 2 x 5 over 2 x we're going to get 5 over 2 x so now let's introduce now the, the method for the case. so we shall have the T is going to be equal to 10 or 0 0.1 plus uh, plus we can write here 10 into 0 0.25 x so this is equation 1 equation 2 is going to be given by dx dt equals to 10 minus 4y. So our dx dt, so 10, 1, plus, we to write here 10 into 0 0.4y. So this is equation 2, equation 2. So let me just repeat it. Equation 1. Equation 1 is B, Y, T, T equals to 10 into 0 0.1 plus 10 into 0 0.25 X. Equation 2, after simplifications, then we are going to get. 10 into 1 plus that's 0 0.4 y. So what it means is to turn back to the analog computer or components. So we are going to draw this one. So we are going to start with Thank you. 
convert to this one, there is a time change. Now, now, this one, you see, uh, we put in the greater, then in the greater, we give one. That one is for the equation number one. Equation two, uh, equation two, the button is dy dx. This was equation two. So again, we shall have this and then and it's also a time key dx and t and then there will be x. So that one solves all equations. So let's read this so that we can have With a great DX, D, DX, DT, you will get uh, minus. So, equation number one would be this. Then, DX, DT, with a great you are going to get Y. You are going to get Y. Now, Y is here. So, that means. Uh, that means this one is coming from here. It's coming from here. So, and that's the potential meter. Zero from four. And that's the gain of of ten. That's the gain of ten. So this one is here. It has got the gain. Okay. Then this one we have x. So this one is doing the application one. So again, we shall have potential, potential meter, zero point zero two five goes there. And we have a gain of x. So that is how we try Simultaneous equations using the analog computer components. Then, and maybe the next person is shall look how we can uh, represent the uh, second modern potential equations. So, after the second one, 